The Moto X proves you can still make a great phone even if it's not the fastest one around. It offers the most comfortable Android phone experience I've seen yet with hardware that shows iPhone levels of obsession and features that you won't find anywhere else. And it's readily accessible for just about anyone, even though it still manages to be plenty innovative. Motorola has delivered a flagship Android smartphone with selling points beyond the size of its screen or the speed of its processor. That might not sound very exciting, but it's an important shift in the smartphone market. We've reached a point where even mid-range hardware is good enough for the average consumer, so perhaps it's more worthwhile for phone makers to spend time differentiating themselves in other ways. Perhaps the most important thing about the Moto X is how it completely moves the conversation away from your specs and toward how we actually use our devices. It's something new that other Android manufacturers haven't been able to do. Samsung has been dead set on making as many Android phones as it can and packing in ever bigger screens and faster hardware. HTC and others have been doing pretty much the same, although HTC has exhibited some impressive restraint with its recent One smartphone, opting to focus more on a beautiful design than great specs. Now, as the first major smartphone developed by Motorola as a Google subsidiary, Moto X undoubtedly has a lot to prove. But surprisingly, most of my expectations simply melted away after a few days of using the phone. The display, even though it's not 1080p, is still fine. The specs are good enough. The camera is... You know, it's it's decent. It'll you'll it'll get you by, and even and even the operating system, which isn't the most recent Android 4.3, but the more outdated Android 4.2, is totally fine as well. There's virtually no area where I can really fault the Moto X. It's really a quite impressive smartphone without being particularly impressive in any one particular category. But enough said, let me know what you think of the Moto X in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, it really encourages me to do more videos, and I will see you next time for more videos. Thanks for watching.